once you've ingested your data into CoreLogix, you then need to work out what you're going to deploy, your parsing rules, your dashboards, your alerts, or you can do something very easy, data flow, run to extensions. Extensions are really powerful. As you can see I've already zoomed on the ECS one here. But we have lots and lots of extensions available for many, many different tools, use cases, perspectives. So have a search. So I'll use the ECS one since it came up before. We can see inside ECS is a series of alerts. Now, extensions can be deployed much like modules in software. They have versions, they're updated. However, there are no limitations to them in the same way. So I can select which applications and subsystems I wish to apply this to, which in this case will be all of them, and I'll deploy. What this is going to do is it's going to create six alerts as part of this extension. Now, when I deployed it, you can see that these six alerts have been deployed. And if I go to my alert management screen, you'll actually see I now have these ECS alarms in place. Now, when they're created, these are actually security alarms as well, so they come with this great um, contextual information as well. Um, now they're deployed, just because I deployed them via extensions doesn't mean I can't do anything. So I can change this as much as I like. I can do whatever I want and click Save Changes. So I can change things as I want. Um, now, this is really powerful because it means that I can get all the speed of deployment without having to worry too much about the uh, rigidity of using prepackaged uh, solutions. Now, a lot alert, uh, extensions can uh, deploy many different things. So I'll pick a more... Um, more verbose uh, option. For example, in this alert uh, for AWS ALB, you can see that I have um, a, a rule, which is a parsing rule that gets deployed. I can see this detail here. This is for parsing the logs that have come from an ALB. I can see that a series of alerts have been defined, so I can pick one of these and see a summary of that particular alarm, the breakdown of how it works, the queries, and so on. And I can even see events to metrics. Events to metrics are converting uh, incoming logs and spans into metrics. So in this particular case, you can see an example here where I take a, a log with the ELB tag and I convert it into a client's IP, a metric with this label with client's IP address. This is really, really cool because it means that not only are you getting some essentials immediately, you're getting some advanced features. And on top of all of that, you're also getting CoreLogix dashboards as well, which are really nice. It just means that you get this really easy, clean view of what's going on. So you go from zero to automatic deployment very, very quickly. Now, if you wish to uh, remove a particular deployment or uh, a particular extension, Simply click remove. That's it. It's done. Those, al those alarms are all deleted, even the ones I edited, by the way. So it keeps track of everything. It's remarkable. Um, if you already have one installed, then it, what will happen is you can have um, you can actually roll out updates to your existing extension. So this is really, really nice because it means that you can actually track everything that's going on. So if, if you have an extension installed, then you can um, just click the update button. It will automatically work for you. This means that keeping track of your extensions is really straightforward. You update them just like regular software, you deploy them just like regular software, and you delete them just like regular software, but you can also edit them individually as you need. It's all the speed and none of the rigidity and none of the lock-in. So definitely make use of extensions. They're a very, very powerful way to take advantage of uh, the speed and time to value that CoreLogix has that makes it so unique in the market today.